Welcome to Allies or Enemies, where we review games and how they work for two. This time we're talking about Clank in Space, designed by Paul Denon, as well as Clank Legacy, designed by Paul Denon and Andy Clottis. But we can't show much of that one because we don't want to give away any spoilers. The whole Clank series follows the same basic premise. You take on the role of thieves sneaking through a dungeon to steal artifacts, and then sneak back out again before you make the big bad aware of your presence and get got. Think Bilbo and Smog, but with two to four Bilbos, all making oodles of noise. Both games are basically deck builders, but with a board, which is more interesting than that sounds. Let's talk about how it works. All the Clank games follow the same basic engine with a few small tweaks here or there. You will start with 10 cards, of which you will use 5 each turn, and cards do 3 basic things. They give you boots for movement, which is how you get around, pick up stuff, steal artifacts, and hopefully escape with your life. They have swords for fighting baddies, and they have a point value that you can add up to buy cards, which is how you will build your deck. There are also special instructions on some that might let you draw extra cards or heal or create clank, which basically means making noise, which is bad. Because as you buy cards, other cards will come out and could trigger a crazy robot or dragon to come and get you, which is represented by pulling cubes out of a bag. If you draw enough cubes of your color, you are caught and presumably murdered. Clank Legacy is unsurprisingly a legacy game, which means the game changes as you play through the campaign, like adding stickers to the board or loading more cards into the deck, as well as cool stuff like and the very cool The big change is the addition of quests, which will change from game to game and often create uncomfortably tentative alliances as players hold off on zipping out of the dungeon while they fulfill other goals to see what comes from these little choose-your-own-adventurish moments. The whole thing is a dozen-ish games and has a grand winner at the end. Clank in Space is kind of Clank 2.0. It adds a few layers to everything to make a slightly deeper experience. Things such as faction cards that combo with other cards of their color, also teleport pads, crystals, and a system where you need to hack two portals before you get into the final chamber. Both games may sound like a lot, but the system is deceptively simple. It's learnable in 20 minutes, teachable in 10. Clank is a light game, so don't expect a world of depth, but there is still variability and the basic idea has a lot of legs. Clank in Space has another bonus over the original Clank in that it has a changeable board. The three middle sections are all double-sided, making it possible to switch things up considerably. Though the biggest point of variation will come from the cards. What is available, how they combo, and when they come up will make each run-through feel different. And it's a big deck, which means a lot of combinations. It also has two expansions that add cards and map options. Legacy comes with its own built-in variation with a double-sided board that is basically two different games of Clank, as well as the system of adding stickers through the campaign, which constantly changes the board as you go. The story is addictive though, so if you are anything like us, you will zip through the whole thing. But the terrific news is that unlike every other legacy game ever, you are left with basically two upgraded versions of the original game. And with a slightly modified deck, you can also use these cards to go back and take advantage of some of the original Clank expansions. All Clank games have the same caveat. They work fine for two players. You will still have the fun of playing a solid deck builder and the push your luck element of getting in and out, but you do lose a bit of the danger when only one other player is pushing that luck and competing with you for those artifacts. There isn't really any direct take that in the game, but the nature is to sneak out quick and leave your opponent holding the bag, which can feel either cutthroat or hilarious devious with two players depending on what kind of player you are. We've only ever played with two and we like it enough that we own two full games and two other expansions but we can see how three or four might add some fun chaos. However, the campaign quests in Legacy do help fill that gap a little bit. 
The whole Clank series has a terrific tongue-in-cheek charm that comes out of all of the parts. In Legacy, the target is D&D tropes, but with a quirky bit of office space mixed in. Think wizarding middle management. In space, it's everything sci-fi, with the cards making silly references to Star Wars, Star Trek, Tron, Doctor Who, Space Odyssey, Guardians of the Galaxy, and a bunch more. Even your meeples are almost representations of classic characters like Darth Vader, though they were clever enough to hide it with some smart box art. The quality of everything is solid. The board is sturdy. The cards are quality. The wooden cubes and bits do their jobs well. The cloth bag is weirdly nice, and the art style works. In Clank Legacy, this is all still true, but with a bit of an upgrade, with gorgeous character pieces, cool stickers that we can't show, a huge board that we also can't show, and basically more of everything, which we wish we could show you, but we really can't. Regardless of which Clank you get, it's a fun, fast game that combines boards and cards in a clever way. It's on the light to medium side of the complexity spectrum, making it a great game for newbies with a bit of game sense. Plus, there's an inherent fun in the pusher luck and deck building that experienced games will enjoy. But which one's for you? If you like legacy games and you want an immersive experience you can play through with the same person or group, go with Clank Legacy. It's a great experience and you're left with an upgraded version of the original. Or if you want something you can play casually with different friends and just drop out of the box and have up and running in 10 minutes, go with Clank in Space. It's slightly deeper than the other games with a bit of pop culture cheekiness that's easy to relate to. Either way, you can't go too wrong. And that is it. Let us know which is your favorite version or just your general thoughts on the game. And please do like and subscribe. And hopefully we will see you all next time for another game.